Hey everybody, welcome to the 252 workshop. My name is Mr. Paul. Remember 252 stands for Luke chapter 2 verse 52. The Bible says Jesus grew in wisdom, in stature, and in favor with God and with man. So the purpose of our 252 workshop is for us to learn things from the Bible as we grow so we can have a good relationship with God, with our family, and with our friends around us. This month's theme is going to be being a super fan, cheering each other on. Our word for this month is super fan. We're going to be cheering each other on. How many of you play soccer or maybe baseball and you're out there and you're running around kicking the ball and your mom and dad are on the sidelines going, go, kick the ball. Or maybe you play baseball and you're getting ready to hit it and you're, you're looking at the pitcher and your dad's yelling, wait for the good pitches. They're encouraging you. They're cheering you on. So this month we're being a super fan. We are going to cheer each other on on being good Christians. Our word is kindness. Kindness is showing others that they are valuable by how you treat them. Now we have a long Bible verse this month. It's going to be a challenge to learn. I've got to read it this first time. It's Colossians 3.2. Therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved, clothe yourself with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. There's a lot of words in there and I've picked out three. Kindness, patience, and gentleness. The Bible says we're supposed to be clothed with them. That means have them on at all times. We've got a great video coming up that's going to be talking about being a super fan. snack bar, a good word of the month at school, a great catchphrase for a t-shirt. Kindness can be all those things, but it can't stop there. Kindness isn't something you wear on the outside. It's what comes from the inside. Kindness chooses to slow down and see the value in someone else, even if you are upset, tired, or in a hurry. Kindness chooses to treat everyone like they're made in the image of God, even if they're different, overlooked, or unloving. See, when you choose kindness, you choose your words wisely. I can't believe you did that. Ah! I'm sorry you had a rough day. How can I help? When you choose kindness, you offer it to everyone, from your family and friends to that grouchy old neighbor and that kid at school you can't stand. When you choose kindness, others see the love of God shining through you. That's why kindness is an amazing way to worship God with your life. Because worship is about more than just singing loud. It's all about living loud. Woo! Ephesians chapter 4 verse 32 and be kind one to another tender-hearted forgiving one another even as God for Christ's sake has forgiven you word kindness was in there just like in our memory verse and it also talks about forgiving and I was thinking what Bible story would go along with kindness and forgiving and I thought, and I remembered the story of Zacchaeus. Did anyone hear the story of Zacchaeus in Sunday school? I heard it when I was little, and I even learned a song with it. Zacchaeus was a wee little man, and a wee little man was he. He ran and climbed up to a tree, because he wanted Jesus to see. 
Zacchaeus was a tax collector. Now, people did not like tax collectors because even though Zacchaeus was Jewish, he worked for the Romans. And it was his job to collect taxes. And do you know what tax collectors would do sometimes? Let's say you owed seven cents to the government. They'd say, you owe us 10 cents. And they would give seven cents to the government and they'd keep three cents in their pocket. Tax collectors were known for that. In fact, Zacchaeus lived in a very nice house. Now, Jesus was coming into Jericho. And whenever Jesus went anywhere, people followed him. There was a crowd coming with Jesus. Everybody wanted to see what Jesus was doing. They wanted to see if he was going to perform another miracle. And Zacchaeus had heard about Jesus, but he had never seen Jesus. And so the Bible says that Jesus, excuse me, that Zacchaeus ran ahead of Jesus and climbed up in a sycamore tree just to see Jesus. And when Jesus came by, he looked up at Zacchaeus and said, Zacchaeus, tonight I am going to come and eat at your house. Zacchaeus couldn't believe it. He said, I'm a tax collector. Most people don't like me. Most people make fun of me because I'm short. And Jesus wants to come to my house. He was so excited. He went to his house and got everything ready. And Jesus went to his house and had dinner. They went inside the house and had dinner. Now, remember we talked about Zacchaeus probably took extra money than he was supposed to. He had a big house and Jesus told him about God and God's love. I imagine Jesus told him about things that were wrong because he knew the Bible. We all know that thou shalt not steal. It's in the Ten Commandments. I'm sure Jesus reminded him of that. Something changed that day with Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus realized he was not being kind to the people that lived around him. And you know what the Bible says? Zacchaeus said, Jesus, I'm going to take half of all my money and give it to the poor people in town. Wow, that is kindness. That's also repenting. He was changing his ways. And Zacchaeus told Jesus, he said, if I had taken any money that I did not deserve, I'm going to pay them back four times. Remember the story that I said? Oh, if he was supposed to pay seven cents and he took a dime, he got to keep three pennies. That meant that Zacchaeus was going to give that person three pennies and then 12 cents extra because he had stole from them. He had changed his ways and he was going to start being kind because Jesus told him to. Kindness is showing others that they are valuable by how you treat them. Zacchaeus from that day on said, I am going to start treating the people around me kind and I'm going to be fair in everything that I do. Make me 
me go You pick me up when I am feeling low I wanna sing, I wanna dance And give everyone a chance To hear about this in this life I know Remember when we talked about God sending his greatest gift, Jesus, at Christmas to be our Savior? God was showing us kindness. We need to do that. Show kindness. Sometimes it's not easy to be kind to people. They can be difficult or we could be arguing with our brother or sister. We could be having problems. But we can choose to be kind. And when we ask God to help us, he will help us to be kind to other people. Thanks for stopping by the 252 workshop. Next week, we're going to have another exciting lesson about being a super fan and cheering each other on. Be kind to each other this week. Mm -hmm.